Hi, this is Rick Sandberg. I'm a senior applications engineer for Hawkridge Systems in our Portland, Oregon office. And in this video, I'm going to explain how to set up interactive assembly motion on an assembly with a coil spring. So you've got this assembly in SOLIDWORKS with a nice coil spring, and you'd really like to see some assembly motion to see how the components interact with that spring. Well, assembly motion in SOLIDWORKS is really based on degrees of freedom that are available for motion with the components like this wheel and the disc. The problem with that approach is it has no way to modify an existing component like that spring. So we'll have to take a different approach. And that approach is actually to model that spring in the context of the assembly based on some pieces that will move and then create an angle or a distance mate that we can then use with instant 3D and modify that dimension and our spring will update. Not quite as smooth a motion as maybe a, a regular assembly motion, but it works. There's just a couple things we need to set up in this assembly to get it to work. First, we need either an angle mate or a, or a distance mate that we'll be able to modify with Instant 3D. The next thing is I need some components on either side of the motion that I can base the length of the spring on. Once we do that, we create our shock in the context of the assembly. Let me suppress this one and show you how that's done. So we'll want to create that using the new part command. And to do that, I'll need to pick a reference plane. So let's view reference planes and see a nice plane to use for that. I'll do new, new part, pick my plane, it drops me in sketch mode. It's now ready for me to do a sketch of a sweep path. Now we can create a coil a couple different ways, but both using sweep. One is to use a sweep path that's a helix. The other is to use a straight path and then do a, a sweep with, um, with twist. And that one's going to work really well for this case because it'll rebuild a little nicer. Now that we have our path, I'll do another sketch for my profile and then we can sweep it. I really want to design in the offset for my profile, so I'll create a reference line that's one and an eighth inches out, and then I'll create my circle, which will represent the coil. And I'll do something like a quarter inch for the size, give it a nice relation be between the end of my line. Now I have a path and I have a profile, so let's do a sweep. Sweep boss base, I'll give it my profile, give it my path, and then I need to pick the option twist along path. We have a couple ways to do it, either degrees, radians, or turns, which will be the most convenient this time. I'll do eight turns, hit OK, and there's my spring in the context of this assembly. Now all I have to do is pick my mate and I can modify it and you can see that spring update right along with the modification of Instant 3D. So there you go, there's a quick overview of creating interactive motion on a spring coil in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for tuning in.